Hey guys, uh, today we're going to talk about these relay banks. Um, I covered them in one of my last videos, uh, talking about how to wire it up using the Raspberry Pi or using a Wemos device and how to control them uh, with code and with an app or Alexa. So what we're going to talk about today is how to take these and how to wire them up to uh, your outlet if you want to control each of these separately. Um, one of my viewers requested this, uh, Caesar, this one's for you. Um, so what you're going to do is take a look at the back and I don't know if you can see this. One side says white and the other side says black. And as I recall, black is the narrower side, the side of the narrower slot in it and white is the wider slot. So what you're going to do if you want to wire them up separately, um, let's see, I'll do the same uh, continuity as the last video and we're going to switch the neutral side. So the hot side will go directly to here, which is the black wire. And then the white wire, we're going to break this brass tab off right here. Um, so double check you're on the white side, grab the tab and then just snap it off. It may take a little bit of work. I may need to get a different pair of pliers because there's not a whole lot of room. Some of them are, are better. This is just a really cheap one here. There we go. Or I need to use a pair. There we go. So, this little tab. Let's see if I can get a shot of it here. Uh, broke off. So, these two here are no longer connected. It connects uh, the top and the bottom plugs together. So, um, yeah, you break that off, and that way you can control the power that goes to each of these separately. We're going to leave the black wire connected uh, because we only need one hot wire going to it. Uh, it depends on what you're what you are planning to control. If you're doing uh, stuff that pulls only a couple amps, like this is rated for 15 amps. Um, so if you're doing stuff that doesn't pull that much power like lights, then you can do one black wire on this side and then uh, um, a separate white wire to each of these that you'll wire up to the um, to the relays. So what you're going to need obviously is one of these uh, outlets and you're going to need some Romex uh, depending on where you're trying to wire it. Um, this is the standard wiring that they use for connecting up your outlets in the house. Uh, that's what they run in the walls um, for residential in the U.S. This is called 12-3 uh, because it is 12 gauge wire and it's got three, it's got a black, uh, uh, bare copper which is ground and then it's got the white which is neutral. Um, and this is the, the, the standard wiring for hooking up your outlets in the house. Uh, you can also get 12-4 if you're trying to do three-way switches but I'm not covering that. You can also get 14 gauge, which is a, a lighter gauge, um, but 12 is standard for uh, 15 to 20 amps that you are um, for, for standard residential outlets in the U.S. Um, and that's what I'm going to be using to connect the the uh, the relay banks with the um, with the outlet. So, all right, guys. I got my uh, work table set up here. I got this relay bank connected up to. You'll uh, you probably if you've seen my other videos, I've got this Wemos D1 Mini here, um, which is a small Wi-Fi chip that you can uh, basically run a web server on and control a relay. Except with this one, I bought a um, proto board and I connected the wires up to it so I can control. Uh, this relay bank. If you haven't seen this one of my other videos, then I have it hooked up to uh, an iOS app, which I have open source and I have the code linked on my other video. So with this app, you can control the the uh, board here and turn the relays on and off. So what I'm going to do is wire this up. I'll show you how to wire it. Um, if I, I cut these short just for demo, what you're going to need is a blade. You can use the utility knife. I just have a scalpel here, so I'm going to use this for right now. Uh, you're going to split the outer sheath, cut it down the middle, because the ground wire is in the middle, and you don't want to cut the, the uh, insulation off the other wires. And then 
open, you can peel this back. Um, depending on how far you run it, um, I mean, obviously you aren't going to be able to pull your wiring completely out in the case where you are um, running it very far. So once you have your wires, you're going to have your uh, wire stripper and you're going to use uh, the size the gauge 12 to strip these back. You don't want to take a whole lot off. go yeah and you can get these uh, you can get this Romex at pretty much any home supply store I bought this at Home Depot for some projects around the house here you can also find it at eBay or Amazon or other online stores cheaper if you buy less than 250 feet um, depends on what you need so and um, these bare copper wires just have cardboard on them I probably won't be using those because the wiring that I have is uh, the, the cable I'm using to plug into the wall with this one is a two lead. It's just got uh, hot and neutral. It doesn't have a ground wire. Uh, you're better off using a three prong, but this is what I have for right now. Um, the one I used in my last video actually goes to one of my lights, so I had wired it back up to my light. So what we want to do here is connect one neutral wire to the top and the bottom of this. So this one connects to the lower, this one connects to the upper. And uh, let's see here, the hot one, you just need one because we still have this brass connector connecting these two here. The hot wire is going to be connected directly to uh, the hot from the plug and use a wire nut for that. Or, I mean, if depending on how you're hook, hooking yours up, you can run this, um, like this wire, that, that the hot wire can go directly to your electrical panel in your house. So I'm going to cut this insulation back here. And then I'm going to peel the, oh, double wrap is good. Okay. I'm going to connect the black to the black. Okay. Both of these wires here. Uh, that go to the plug. One each is going to go to each of these relays. Um, and the neutral, I'm going to cut another wire here, but this is going to go and power this and this. Um, so what you want to do is get your tester. Um, I have this set to volts. I'm going to turn it to ohms. Um, that test continuity between two wires and it should go to infinity if you touch them together. So that way you know when the, like the two is connected. So if we test this here, we go to the middle and this one, it's not connected now. You can tell by looking at the tester, but if I open my app up here, but if I take this and I turn on, oh, I gotta go back here. There we go. Okay. So now this relay is uh, turned on. There's continuity between the middle and the left one. Um, let's see here. When I turn it off and it goes back to zero. Now I believe the middle and the left one should be connected. Yes. And those are also switched. So when the relays are on, uh, this side is turned off. Um, and when the relay is turned off, whoops, then you have continuity. So this is what they call, uh, um, 
these two are normally closed and these two are normally open so when the relay is powered up then this gets closed and this gets open so the power goes in the middle so what you want to do is take the neutral since the neutral is what we're switching and uh, we're going to connect a wire to to this is going to go to the center plug on this relay and the center plug on this relay. I've cut a couple more wires here um, to feed the relay with the neutral. Um, so what we're going to do is take these and hook them up to the white wire. And I've got a larger wire nut for that because we've got three wires. So basically to recap what we're doing here before I, before I finish this up, you have the main power coming in, you have a hot that goes to the plug, you have a neutral that goes to the relay, which is basically just a switch. And you're, you're putting a switch in between uh, the hot coming in and the plug. That's, that's all we're doing. Um, and since we broke the tabs off here, we can switch each of these independently. So what you want to do is take and put this in the relay in the center because this center one we have uh, three of these plugs for each relay and you want to put this in the center and then you want to put this one in the center here uh, which I need to grab a screwdriver. Now I have the relays plugged in so I'm going to take this careful. Um, I'm unscrewing the center one here. Uh, there's three on this one, there's three on this one. So power in goes to the center. You might want to double check your relays. Uh, if you've got the same one, then it should be wired the same. There we go. So, hot to the middle. Or, well, I say hot, sorry, this is neutral. Um, and then if you can tighten them down, 12 gauge this, these relays, like in the last video, don't seem to like 12 gauge wire, uh, but it will work for the demo purposes. Uh, and then you may have to monkey with the wiring to line these up. This is going to go on this side because that's the one that gets switched. And this one is going to go on this one. So the one that's normally open is where these will go. There we go. Alright, I hope that's clear. Um, So the plug wires are on the outside edge here, and these screws just will not tighten up. Uh, there's enough connection for the demo. So what I am going to do is plug in the end of this cord, the, the main line coming in here. Oh, and I forgot to mention uh, the ground on your plug. Uh, if you're wiring this directly to an outlet, then the bare copper wire will go here. Um, if you're wiring up to this, I suggest a three prong and then the green wire that, that is in here will connect to the green screw here. So I'm going to plug this in um, and then I'll find two things to plug in here that will show you that the, the uh, electricity is switching on and off those two. Alrighty guys, so we got it all wired up here. I've got it plugged in. We've got the hot in here. We've got the black that goes to the black side. We've got white split into two wires. One goes into the center here. One goes into the center here. Uh, and then from this side of the plug, it goes to the switched side, which on these relays is the, the plug farthest to my left. Uh, and then um, the one to the bottom plug here goes to the outside of this relay. So, um, I'm going to demonstrate now since it's plugged in that it is working. Got my app here. Let's see, I'm not sure where to put that. I'll do it on this side. 
Got the app, uh, so turn on. Got that light turns on. Turn on this one turns on. So that way you can control uh, two different lights with two different relays. Alrighty guys, hopefully that answered some questions for you. If you've got any requests for videos, uh, other things to explain, any other ways to do things with uh, home automation, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll get to it uh, if it's something I can do. Um, if you'd like to see more, subscribe. I'll be doing these kind of videos, so uh, check out the other ones I've got uploaded and I'll see you next time.